crazy I'm crazy for feeling so lonely Hey kids, this is Nash. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. I want to show you something real quick. This is from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's the bit everyone remembers, but how many people recall the bit that happens just before that? Yep, not five minutes before Kubrick depicted the metaphor for man's evolution, he was showing early humanity using that metaphor to beat the crap out of each other. The reason for that is more than a little obvious. Before we could talk, before we mastered fire, we were already fashioning new methods by which to bring the pain. Mankind has had a love affair with weapons for as long as we've existed, but just as long we've been finding the absolute stupidest things possible to do with our deadly, deadly inventions. Here. I'll elaborate. Animals are dicks. See, somewhere along the way, we figured out they were delicious. But instead of standing still to be eaten, they had the nerve to run the fuck away whenever we got close. Well, eventually we got tired of chasing after chipmunks, and one day someone hit upon the idea of throwing a damn rock at the thing. Thus, weapons were born. Unfortunately, we figured out they weren't just useful for getting lunch. They were also pretty handy for when some jackass decided to take your lunch away. When faced with the option of going hungry or clocking someone in the skull, skull clocking tended to win every time. And as that option grew in popularity, innovation took hold. We moved from rocks to sharp rocks to sharp rocks attached to sticks to sharp rocks attached to flying sticks to, well, you get the idea. It wasn't until the 9th century that weaponry took the next big leap past sharp fingers. That was around the time that gunpowder was discovered in ancient China. A little known fact was that immediately afterwards something else was discovered. The phrase, hey y'all, watch this! And on and on it went, with humanity continually refining their weapon of choice. Yet two things remained at the heart of every discovery. The need to efficiently end a motherfucker right quick, and the need to look really cool while doing it. What, you think Fallout 3 invented the nuclear bazooka? Nope, that would be the US military, and I'm totally not making that shit up. Yet no matter what form they take, or what principle they're based on, one thing holds true. Weapons don't cause stupid, people cause stupid. And that's more or less how it goes. For every one person who has some measure of respect when it comes to handling a weapon, there's about 20 who engage in mutually assured dysfunction. With that in mind, let's turn to Indiana, where a man has taken the phrase cutting the fat in a direction so stupid, you're going to get a nosebleed just hearing about it. Police say Anthony Kaufman went on a rampage through an Edinburgh grocery store, taking a knife to every package of meat he could find, throwing it on the floor and covering it with dog food, all in the hopes of making the meat impossible to sell. So why was he doing this? What possible motivation could he have had to openly beat the meat? Oh, come on, like I was going to ignore a setup like that. Kaufman told police he was a vegetarian, that other people eating beef upset him, and then cemented his commitment to Sparkle Motion by claiming God had sent him to smite the meat in order to save little girls from becoming chubby. Oh, for fuck's sake, C cue the clip. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You know, I'm not particularly religious, and I've got no special connection to God, but I feel as though I can say the following with some measure of authority. If at any point in your life, your personal understanding of the Lord involves you running willy goddamn nilly through the AMP with a fucking knife on a mission to stop meat from making women fat, it's a pretty safe bet you and God are not on the same page. Hell, you're not even in the same book. You're in a Barnes & Noble, and he's down the street in the book's fucking million. Engaging in physical combat with meat is not a valid plan for a crusade. It's not even a valid plan for a Bill Cosby movie. Ah! Meat! Meat! God may or may not play a role in your life, but if your path to spiritual enlightenment starts to resemble the plot to Leonard Part 6, you can be pretty sure you're not the new Moses. And while we're on the subject of God, you know something that's probably not on his list of favorite things? Bringing a gun to his house! From Ellisburg, Kentucky, a man livened up his local Sunday morning service by arriving to church on horseback, 
drunk and armed with a handgun and rifle. Oh boy. I'm not a Bible scholar, but I'm pretty sure the mark the Sabbath and keep it holy bit did not involve firearms and livestock. The fuck is wrong with you? It's church. You don't need a gun to go to church. You don't need a horse to go to church either. And you certainly don't need to be drunk on a horse with a gun to go to church. And if for some reason you disagree, might I suggest a new denomination, like the You're Such a Moronians, or the Nimrodatarians, or my personal favorite, the Church of Jesus Christ of Shut the Fuck Up. I will give the guy this, at least he didn't show up naked. And if that sounds to you as though it might be something taken for granted, you haven't been watching this show very long. From Short Pump, Virginia, an employee at the local Hilton Hotel heard strange noises in the elevator. He investigated to discover Francesca Dominique Edwards nude and brandishing a gun. While the gun later turned out to be a toy, the crazy naked lady was quite real. I'd like to elaborate more on the story, but that's all the article gives me to go on. Why was she at the Hilton? Why naked? Why a cap gun? The world may never know! Yeah, that's not exactly going to knock Stonehenge out of the Great Mysteries Top 10, now is it? There are two things I love about the article itself, however. The first is the mugshot. I have never seen someone so happy to be caught doing something so stupid in my entire life. She looks less like she's been arrested and more like she's getting ready to be airbrushed onto a t-shirt. The other part is the very first comment on the article. If she was nude, where'd she pull the cap pistol from? Oh, internet, you never fail to give me new reasons every day to puke my guts out. <sighs> Let's move from the East Coast to the West, where we find a lone man struggling against the forces of darkness at his local lumber store. From Bainbridge Island, Washington, a shirtless man with a big goddamn sword and a bunch of throwing knives was arrested in the parking lot of the Pro Build. When confronted by police, he revealed his reason for being there. Hunting werewolves and chud? Wait, 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 wait. Chud? cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers these damn chud holy shit you're not just huffing the paint anymore are you you're knocking it back with a chaser of super glue the fuck is wrong with you i can almost almost understand the werewolf thing after all their classical mythology and folklore while no less fictional they're certainly ingrained into our history and culture but chud really Look, it might not be fair for me to judge the voices in your head, but I gotta say, they're kind of fucking lame. When your imaginary friends are sending you on a quest with nothing but a sword to quell the evil of low-budget 80s horror films, you really have to question their credibility. At least they could have sent you after monsters from a good movie. Shit, even the little bastards from Critters would have been an improvement. Moving right along, let's head to the UK, where we discover an innovative new approach to stopping tailgaters. FIRE! Colin Furs was arrested for a firearms offense after he altered his scooter to shoot 15-foot flames from the rear in order to discourage tailgating. Said Furs, I don't need a flamethrower on the back of my bike. It's just something interesting to do. I'm really torn on this one. On the one hand, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's a goddamn flamethrower built into a motorcycle. All it would take is for you to flip the wrong switch in heavy traffic, and suddenly there's a 13-car pileup in your rearview mirror. What are you going to say? Sorry, folks. My bad. Just trying to signal a left-hand turn. <laughs> On the other hand, holy shit, it's a fucking flamethrower! And I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous. I know it's ridiculous. I know it's one of the stupidest things ever conceived. But fucking hell. It's a flamethrower built into the back of a motorcycle to discourage tailgaters. The concept alone is enough to cause wave of geeks to orgasm uncontrollably. How can you not love it, really? It's all the genius of James Bond combined with the power to smite some dumb son of a bitch who seems determined to put his vehicle in your back seat. And I guess that's what it comes down to, isn't it? Part of what motivates this nonsense is that we have an inborn fascination with all things that go bang, slash, and boom. It's in our video games. It's in our television shows. It's everywhere. It's pretty much wound into the collective unconscious. And man, down the map. The fuck? Man, down the map, down the down the map, and then the down the map. We've been I'm out of the air. I'm a man down the main cobra. We may end map you all. No way, I'll hang with me. Leave it, did it. Why are you on my show? 
What the hell language are you speaking? What do you mean? I mean perfect murder! Of course you do. Look, can you piss off? I'm trying to- Let you right there! Oh! Moment I need do for me! No, I'm asking why you won't go the fuck away. Well, I'll be acting and ending up. We are the music maker. We are the we are the queen. I could say absolutely anything right now, and you just keep right on going, wouldn't you? Yeah, I know you're naked. Oh, back clean. <laughs> you probably need it. Pineapple Mexico Panda. That's why we ain't gonna leave out and back the leave it on to you. But you feel number. The home Bible phone is making you a king. With the native in mind of the nation and both of those random technology, we take the right of the Bible of the death of God and bring it out and put it right in your hands. Did you just, did you just shoot down a- Well, man, I don't know, you know, final hand we ate, he was my bum ass, his dog came back with his demon, and blew out of that bag, blew right here. And yeah, present the best only full guy back, first round of the biggest rat is your hair. <laughs> That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. Bad I'd be in, no idea, do I dare. No come baby, go play the, you better be big. Can you give me something that will allow me to destroy whatever I want with the sheer force of my annoyance? Get the fuck out! We even have a program for your mom phone that we can make massive damage for hate on home. We call it the Bill Evan Gary, but the two by one. Wait, you're saying I download this app, hit the button, and anything I want gets destroyed? That I be it, matter of fact, you guilty! Bullshit. Yoo-hoo! This is Nash saying if I have to hurt, so does everyone else. Lines wrong, I'm not even talking English.